I've been watching a ton of these mystery craft videos and I was like well let's just put a spin on with uh, a bible verse and see what uh, kids can come up with. at the Bible verse mystery pack challenge it's quick and easy the goal is to use all of the supplies you're gonna need one hole punch glue scissors sharpener and a ruler you're gonna need a pen and assorted color crayons you're also gonna need a pencil a bin to put everything in, a Ziploc bag to put, and also an envelope can be used. You need assorted colored paper. You also need white paper and a clip. You will also need these printouts that you could find on my Etsy store for free. And they include the Bible verse and everything that is needed. So all you're going to do is take the printed out sheets and the colored paper, the white paper, and the lined paper, and you could put this in the Ziploc bag. Next, you're going to take the label that says Bible Verse Mystery Pack Challenge, and you're going to glue this onto your Ziploc bag. So it looks like this. Now you're going to put the package and all the other supplies in the bin. This is a great activity for the times where the sermon goes a little bit longer during Sunday school time and you don't know what else to do. This is a great and handy package to have and you can just give it to the kids while they work on it until the sermon is finished. You can have the children create a memory verse creation of their own so that they can memorize the memory verse that is included or it could be an art project it could also be something that could be used when you know when you're teaching your bible lesson and you're like it's gonna run for half an hour or 20 minutes and it's done in 10 minutes and you're like oh no i have nothing planned this is something that you can just pull together and give it to the kids and it will fill that allotted time that uh, you weren't prepared and you can pretend that it's part of the bible lesson <laughs> you can also use this as five different art projects that you can do over a course of a period of time in this video i will show you what i actually did and just a quick short disclaimer, yes, the fan is going, it's really, really hot, and uh, I'm sorry, this is the best I could do. <laughs> this is for Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 to 8. I'm just going to cut the memory verse out, and then I'm going to take the white piece of letter-sized paper, and I'm going to make this into quarters, so fold it half and half it again, and I'm going to get four pieces from that. I also cut out the ant, and now I'm just going to make a design on one of the one-fourth paper that I just cut out, and I'm making the clouds, and I'm also going to be making a log just note i am not a professional artist or anything Now all I'm doing is attach the ant that I colored black and put them on the log. On the other side, all I'm going to do is attach 
the memory verse with a lot of blue then I'm just gonna cut all around wherever there's excess paper so it just looks like one piece like so and I'm also attaching the word ant on there as well here I'm using the butterfly a Bible verse and here I am just trying to outline a butterfly just making like two ovals and then all I'm gonna do is cut this out so here I did color I mean draw in the kind of the middle part of the butterfly but as you see when I'm cutting this, I actually avoid it because we're going to add it on later on. So it looks like this. And now all I'm doing is kind of making a design inside. So it opens up like this. Now I'm just taking a piece of a black paper and adding it onto the center. Just a big long oval and I'm attaching the antenna. I just took a long piece of pap paper, cut it thinly, and just made a V. And now I'm attaching this, I'm attaching the antenna on. taking the scrap pink paper and making two circles with the one punch hole and adding that onto the antenna you can do that to the, fr the front and the back side so it looks good on either side now I'm taking a white piece of paper uh, cardstock size 4x6 line and putting it sideways and attaching the butterfly and I'm just doing that on the lower half of the butterfly just so it has a little effect on it and I took this piece of paper I was running low on the scrap piece of paper with this mystery box so I kind of improvised and now I'm just putting different lines on this particular piece of paper so it just adds a little effect and that's the whole point of the challenge with the mystery box is kind of using your own imagination and seeing what you can come up with and it also helps you to memorize the memory verse or at least understand the memory verse because you're just using your imagination to come up with a visual way to understand the, the bible verse and actually have some fun with this. I'm just making dots on the other side of this piece of paper because I'm just really running low on scrap. So you can see how it looks like on both sides. So the side that has all the lines and assorted colors, I put the Bible verse on the one side. And then in the corner, I'm just going to attach the butterfly. And here I'm just going to write butterfly in cursive and make a uppercase B and a lower case B. Here I'm using 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 and I'm going to make a flower with the pink paper that I have using five petals. They don't have to be even or anything like that. 
I'm just going to cut it out. I'm going to take my glue top from a glue stick and take the black paper and try to make a circle. I'm just tracing it with my pencil. And I'm going to take my punch hole puncher and make a ton of circles because we're going to attach that to the black circle that we made and we're going to glue this onto the center of the flower now with the green piece of paper we're going to make the stem and you just have to make kind of like a wavy line as so and we're going to attach that to the flower and then take off the excess and we're probably going to do that one more time now this is a scrap of block paper that i have and I added that, the flower to it, and also the verse, the First Corinthians one, and I put the Bible verse on the other side, the flip side, and I also attached the flower that came with the package. Here we're going to use Job chapter 5 verse 10. And we're going to do something with rain. So I'm taking my one hole punch and I am going to make some small circles with it in the blue. And on this piece of paper, I just took a regular 4 by 6 and folded it in half. And I'm just going to punch holes on it. Now if you open it up, it looks kind of like this. Now I'm going to attach this onto a blue piece of paper. So it kind of looks like raindrops. So here I'm just going to mark it with my pencil where the top and bottom part is. Now I'm going to take a ruler and try to attach it so I know where I am cutting. I'm just using the ruler as a... Uh, a straight edge so this one this one measured 11 inches in length and 14 centimeters in by width and all I'm gonna do is glue this on the white sheet of paper with the holes in it I'm just gonna attach that to the blue construction paper so it looks like um, rain and now all I'm going to do with the blue piece of paper is kind of make a cloud design. So that's just like making a round, round design. So I'm doing this with two pieces of paper. You don't need a template for this. You can just do this by yourself. And now I'm just attaching it to the top part. It kind of looks like a muffin, but I think you can see it as uh, clouds with rainfall. So I decided that wasn't good enough, so I attached the black piece of paper on it. And now I'm taking those blue dots and white dots and adding it to the back along with the Bible verse, Job chapter 5 verse 10. And this is what... Now we're going to be using the sun... With this Bible verse, so here I am just trying to make a sun with my crayons. I'm pushing down really hard on on the paper. I am using the line paper that came in the pack because that's all that was left. So you know, you do whatever. And now I am just making the rays using lines short ones, long ones to make the sun. Now all I'm going to do is fold the paper in half and then I am going to, to cut this. So the bottom part of the sun will be a little cut off just so it makes a, like, a nice effect with all the other things that will be added on and I'm also trimming off the edge part so all I'm doing is making clouds out of the blue construction paper so here I'm just kind of lining up this cloud shape so it looks like 
the sun is behind the clouds and then all I'm going to do is glue the two pieces together and then glue it onto the piece of paper that the sun is on so it looks like this so the sun is kind of like peeking through now I'm adding the green piece of scrap paper and gluing the whole thing onto it and then adding about a centimeter or so to the bottom so it looks like a little grass and I'm taking another piece of paper and I'm just going to make some fringes which will act like the grass so just to give this particular picture a kind of a 3D effect so all I'm doing is just making little slits onto this green piece of paper. Now I'm just checking how far I have to make this so I'm just trying to measure it out. I cut the excess and now I'm just going to glue it on. Now any piece that's kind of overlapping and doesn't look nice is just going to be trimmed down so we don't want to see any excess from either side because even on the back we are still going to add the memory verse onto this and I'm just moving the kind of green fringe forward so it just has kind of a 3d texture to it and I also went back in with the rays and added a little orange to it just to make it pop a little bit now I added Psalms 113 verse 3 to it and I also took from the piece of paper that was a printable I added the sun to the back and I also added on the Bible verse well I hope that you found this video useful and helpful and uh, hopefully you can use that with your Sunday school class or your children's ministry Wherever you use it, you can use it at home as well, especially during the summertime. Kids are home. You can give them something to do. So, uh, don't forget to check out some of the suggested videos. And until the next video, take care and God bless.